In this video, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step clinical procedure of canine crown preparation, from initial reduction to finishing and final checks. Let's get started with the first step. Step 1, pre-operative check 1, check occlusion, centric relation and canine guidance. 2, shade selection before dehydration of tooth. 3, local anesthesia if needed. 4. Isolation with cotton rolls or rubber dam. Step 2. Intersal reduction. Place depth grooves across the intersal edge, one groove on maceal side and other on distal side. Reduce 1.5 to 2.0 mm to provide space for strength and aesthetics. Maintain the natural incisal morphology. Step 3. Lingual reduction. Reduce cingulum area 1 to 1.2 millimeters. Create a concave lingual clearance with a football or flat end burr. Functional surface reduction for occlusion, especially if opposing mandibular incisors contact lingual surface. Step 4 Labial reduction. Use a round end tapered diamond burr. Make two depth grooves, 1.0 to 1.2 millimeters, in the cervical and middle thirds, and slightly more in the incisal third for aesthetics, up to 1.5 millimeters if all ceramic. Connect the grooves to reduce labial surface evenly. Ensure uniform reduction following natural contour. Step 5. Proximal reduction. Use a thin tapered diamond to break proximal contacts carefully. Extend reduction toward labial and lingual, preserving the gingival margin. Ensure smooth, continuous walls. Step 6. Finishing the preparation. Define finish line, chamfer or ceramic or zirconia. Shoulder with rounded internal angle, PFM labial. Ensure 0.5 to 1.0 mm supragingival margin, unless subgingival needed for aesthetics. Smooth all line angles and check for undercuts. Verify convergence angle, 6 to 12 degrees. Step 7. Final checks. Check occlusal clearance using wax strips or putty index. Ensure uniform reduction, labial, lingual, incisal. 